Hey folks, it's March Madness, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty locked in to what's going on. And it takes me back to my own days of playing basketball. And there are some things that I learned during basketball that I think help all of us who are really trying to put up the W's, who are trying to win at life, be change agents, transform, and help build brighter futures. I'm gonna talk about three things today. The first thing is the game plan, right? Whenever you're you know, walking into a basketball game, you have done scouting on your opponent, you know the plays that they're gonna run, you know who the players are that you have to watch or double down on, but do we do that with how we approach the big changes and the brighter futures we're trying to build? So what's your game plan? The second thing is the idea of having a game face. Um, some people call it RBF, resting bitch face, or my team sometimes calls it my focus face, um, which I think is just a euphemism for RBF. But the bottom line is there is a focus face, a game face I have when I'm about to step onto a keynote platform, when I'm squaring up to a difficult meeting, you know, and that is okay. It's another way that we tell our body like we're in it, right? And then the final thing is your game tape. You know, we, we think sometimes that professional athletes spend all their time in the gym, in the weight room, getting stronger, getting faster. But boy, we spend a lot of time reviewing game tape. And what I love about game tape is, you know, the tape doesn't lie. I thought I was blocking out, but the game tape showed I clearly was not. And it's a way of reflecting our performance, seeing what actually happened and how we can improve. And if there's one thing that I feel would help all of us, it is just taking that beat of reflection, the after action review after a project, the, the mid project review when you're in the midst of something and saying, you know, what is the observable behavior that's happening here? And then what changes do we need to make so that we're ready for next time? And the final thing I'll tell you, I don't go out and party before I've got to do a big meeting or a big talk. I am in bed at a really unreasonably early hour um, because I know that for me, being game ready means being well rested. And that's not culturally always the norm. So take it for what it's worth. What's your game plan? What's your game face? How are you watching your game tape? And you have permission to go to bed early the night before a big game. See you on the court.